Game Double Tap, everybody. Good morning, good morning, good morning. How is everybody doing today? As the title stated, we're just relaxing, chatting, discussing stuff while playing Conjury. Still putting my phone back together. Still putting back together my whole setup. Um, you, we know when you lose your phone, <laughs> it's the cutoff scream for my uh, noisemaker. It's supposed to be a long scream, but it, it cuts off. See? <laughs> <It's> <laughs> yeah, when you lose your phone, it's a nightmare. We have a long way to go to put everything back together again. Big shout out to My Noise for the lovely bird sound spring walk. And yes, my My Noise setup was also messed up, but I didn't lose anything because I bought a lifetime package with them. So if you are looking to get into uh, ambience creation, noise spaces, noise reduction, something to help you when you're at work, at the office, or something at school, when you're studying for college or high school or elementary school, wherever you are studying at, my noise can be a great assistant. I've also found that you can have it play in your home through your tablet or your iPad or your phone just to relax or take a shower or bath. It's just great to have it as a background sound. It kind of displaces all the more disgruntled sounds we hear in the day. So my noise makes it really easy for you to be able to participate in creating soundscapes. It's really easy to use. It's 100% accessible to the blind and visually impaired. And there's some great folks over there. Uh, definitely contact them, give generously to their tip jar, and purchase the full app for yourself. I think they have a couple of different plans right now. I think currently right now they have a subscription plan that they just started. Uh, but just definitely tell them that Michael Gray from Game and Game Double Tap sent you there. They'll appreciate that. And don't forget to rate the game high in the App Store. Give it those five stars, folks, and leave them some constructive, positive feedback if, you're, if, it, if that's possible. Um, they get a free commercial because they're kind, very kind. Uh, but yes, uh, I do love my noise. It's the only ambience app I use right now. I don't get any, uh, hits for, uh, using the music. I don't get any problems with YouTube and it's just very relaxed, very, very chill, very meditative. So anyway, lost my phone a couple weeks ago, and it's been almost a couple weeks I've been putting it back together. Currently, I'm just down to a couple of apps that need to be fixed. I won't go into detail. It's not very exciting. But um, if you've ever lost your phone, you know what I mean. It's a nightmare. Drinking a little bit of Conjury coffee. And it's empty. I have a little bit of Conjury Donuts, so got some Witches Donuts today. So, yeah, I'm enjoying a little bit of uh, uh, lovely uh, sugar. <laughs> I got a little sugar today. Mm. Oh, well. My local store has fresh donuts, much to my chagrin. <laughs> Much to my waistline demise. Um, fresh donuts, maple chocolate glaze. Mm, absolutely delicious. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Today we're playing Ludolf on Platinum. Yeah, I lost all my progress. Um... I did get some information for you. I'll be talking to you all about it later. But if you're looking to save games, make sure you check your settings and see if there's any settings for iCloud storage. I just found out two or three of my games actually had that available. And if I had just saved my data, I wouldn't have lost everything. One of the recent games I found out that has iCloud uh, saving or saving data on their servers is Idle Acta. Which is really sad. I'm going to be trying to email the developer of that game. Maybe they will uh, give me back. Uh, I bought a bunch of mastery potions and a couple of treasure chests. And I'm actually hoping they'll, re they'll give it back. I mean, it's not their responsibility to save my game. It's my responsibility. But I'm kind of hoping I'll get some of that back. I spent a little bit of money on that.
So definitely check your games and make sure if there's any iCloud storage backups, utilize it. Save your games, folks. You don't want to do like me and lose everything. Thank goodness some of my games did it for me. Um, today is a uh, conjury for a while to I lose. I'm not really stressing out. I've already beaten bronze up to gold, so we just need to beat platinum. Platinum is especially hard on any class you play in conjury. So don't expect to beat it right away, even if you've beaten it before. Literally, the best way to beat Conjury is RNG. You just get the perfect setup. If you get the perfect setup, the perfect cards, everything's cool. You still got to play perfect, though. Hello. The other day, I beat it. I got one. A couple of my favorite cards came up. Coin. I love Coin. If you've never gotten that card, it uh, gives you plus one mana, and it's zero cost. So it's like I'm back. <laughs> Had a quick call, taking care of some business. Like I said, there's a lot of stuff going on this spring. I've been doing a lot of spring cleaning. I've been doing a lot of spring business and financial related cleanups and stuff. And on top of that, the usual chores, housekeeping, bathroom scrubbing, floor vacuuming, window washing, corner clearing, uh, organizational kind of thing, shelf clearing. I'm kind of a minimalist at heart, and it's really important to me to kind of clear up all the clutter. I'm also still looking for some noisemakers. Uh, I've kind of got a couple in mind. Uh, one for our Lost Island series, which is a mouse kind of squeaky toy. And one is like a tropical bird. I'm um, looking to Marissa to do um, some voiceovers for us. Um, still working on the thumbnails. Uh, I haven't got them done, but I do have the artist formerly known as Poyo working on some thumbnails. Um, they are currently in school, so they won't be probably getting those done into the summer, hopefully. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm going to probably turn our soundtrack down a little bit. Usually I like to jam out the soundtrack, but because we're just chilling today and I'm going to be talking a whole lot and just chatting with all of you, I'm probably going to turn the um, soundtrack down a bit. So let me get that all set. Uh, the speaking rate is at 65, so we're already set with that. New game. Let's start a new game. Character screen. Less than that. All right, again, Button. I don't have Double any of my left. fancy characters. I lost all my characters. I wouldn't, even if there was an iCloud functionality built into Conjury, I wouldn't have used it anyway because I didn't do that with any of my games. I just take it for granted I'm not going to lose my phone. And I just want to tell you, all of you, if you do have iCloud functionality built into your games, please, please save your game, back up your game as much as possible. All right. Um, I just got a nice, while I was on a little quick break there, <clears throat> I also refilled my Conjury coffee. So my witch's brew <laughs> has been refilled. Yeah, that's my cackling witch. It's not very good, but, you know. Um, let us set the uh, soundtrack. Gems 25. Select a character. Select a character. Loot all. Ability. Previous character. Next character. About keys. Bronze key. Silver key. Gold key. Platinum key. Start. Um, Start. Start. Platinum. Gold. Let me Silver. check that. Next. Previous character. Ability. Loot all. Select a character. Gems 25. Less than that. Less than that. Um, Button. oh, I should double tap to select. Let me start the game and then I'll do that. Gems 25. Select a care loot ability. Creep next. Uh, bronze key. Silver yeah, key. Yeah, I have 25. Button. You can tell I've been double tap to select. destroying it on loot off. I basically, it's only taken me a, one or two tries on each key level to get up to platinum. I know how to play loot off exceptionally well. So, if I don't say so myself, humble brag, but I'm very good with loot off. Um, so getting back up to platinum isn't hard. Of course, platinum is exceptionally difficult. So, um, it will take me several tries to get, of course, I could always go to the other classes, but I just really want to get Ludolf out of the way. I want to beat everything about Ludolf and then I'm going to go on to, uh, Kita and then I'm going to go on to, um, 
um, the Elementalists. Then I'm going to move on to um, the Blade, uh, uh, Spellblade character. Then I will go on to No Health Regain. And then finally, I'll move on to Reno, the final Ultimate Warrior or whatever. So that's how really how I'm going to play this series right now. But I'll be doing it in a different fashion, more like we'll be chatting, we'll be hanging out a little bit. So you really don't have to pay attention. Think of it as Easy Grind Plus. So it's a little bit more chatty. In fact, it's very chatty. So that's why I didn't even name this series Easy Grind. Because if I wasn't going to talk, I would name it Easy Grind. That's my low to no commentary. So if you are looking to not hear my voice very much and you're looking to sleep, I do have Easy Grind. There's almost 30 videos on that playlist. So swing by Easy Grind. Put the play. Here's my suggestion. This is what I've told people. Go to Easy Grind and shuffle the playlist and then push play. Oh, it's so good. Humble Brad Part 2. It really is good, and the music is exceptional. Uh, I emphasize on sinking and into the game. I try to sink into the game. I try to immerse myself. Uh, there aren't a lot of noises during those videos. Uh, you know, I'd fall asleep too if I didn't have to do content creation. So if you're looking for something to do when you really can't sleep, put on my Easy Grind playlist. It is exceptional. Uh, thanks to my noise, I've got some beautiful, gorgeous sounds there. Again, it's very zero drama, low-key, very relaxed, very chill, very calm vibe over there on Easy Grind. So, uh, so yeah, that is why I didn't make this particular game um, playthrough um, Easy Grind. Because I'm, I'm going to be chatting with you all a lot. So this is the opposite of ease. Well, this isn't the opposite. This is just talky time. So, <laughs> uh, yeah, so I've discussed uh, losing my phone. I've talked about backing up your games in iCloud storage. I've talked about uh, everything. Okay, I haven't talked about the weather. So I've talked about my local donuts. So the weather has been very humid here in Midtown, you know? Well, if you're not used to humid weather, let me tell you something. It's different. It make, it's, the condensation is really heavy. And you are the one that condensates. So if that's correct to say. Um, the heat is... The heat is something else here in Sacramento. I love it. But the humidity, I'm not so fond of. Um, the thing about humidity is it can be very cold outside. But if the humidity is really high, you're still sweating in your boots, in your socks. Um, today's humidity is 84%. You know, weatherman here. So yeah, I just told Marissa and my angels, I told my angels, uh, it's going to be very humid today. So they're going to be putting on their shorts and their cute outfits and looking all adorable. My angels are all adorable. Let me tell you, so not one of my angels is not adorable. All my angels are super adorable. So yeah, um, I think my, my, uh, my angel queen is uh, getting herself some uh, shorts today from her local fashionable wear shop so she's going to be picking up some uh some cute some cute outfit oh yeah that's right my girlfriend i could do what i want to do Don't tell me what to do um yeah she's shop she's gonna be shopping today so i can't wait to see what she puts on and yes i'm blind but i can still see i got hands don't i ha <laughs> ha it's my girlfriend i do what i want to do you don't tell me tell me what to do <laughs> Um, anyway, um, yeah, she's going to be getting some, doing some shopping today. She's going to show, she said she's going to show me, she's going to, uh, she's going to show me what, uh, her new shorts when she buys a few different shorts. Oh yeah. <laughs> I'm looking forward to seeing what she buys. Um, Angel Patrol is also interested in buying some clothes. It's their birthday this month. So Angel Patrol is, uh. Trying to get it. They just came off a of spring break, so they got a little rest, a little momentum. 
they're getting ready for uh, ending, finishing off uh, this year, and in which they uh, um, got some more stuff coming up. They got summer. <clears throat> Angel Patrol is looking into colleges, and Angel Patrol is looking into um, um, programs and work. And I think one of them is working. One of them is. Uh, one of them is looking, one is already taking college courses already. So they're, Angel Patrol is quite busy. Devil Boy. <laughs> Yellow Devil Boy. Oh my God, he was a little problem child yesterday. Not only was he jerking on the leash, but um, um, he, he was just, ooh, man. Uh, it was either my apartment or him, but somebody was passing some gas yesterday, not me. Usually it's me, but somebody was funking it up. You know, sometimes I think it's just a garbage can beneath my apartment. You know, I live, I live above a trash can, so, you know, I'm Grouch <laughs> from Sesame Street, you know. <laughs> uh, you know, Marissa told me they changed Grouch. Now he looks like... He, they made him all purpley and all Barney looking. He's all friendly. I remember him as a, just a green looking furry muffet with a bunch of banana pills on his head. Uh, I tell you, folks, our culture is just being destroyed by all the things. They are just taking away all the things that are fun about what I enjoyed growing up. I don't know. You feel the same? I don't know. You know, leave me a comment. <laughs> but I feel like our culture's slowly disappearing and i'm not saying i want negative parts of our culture to continue to go on those would be great to get rid of but some of our great parts of our culture are slowly disappearing anyway i'm not going to start that rant this is not what this channel is about this is all about games but anyway um and me and you but anyway um I love that. that this, I love that my noisemaker is broken and I only get half a scream out of this little 16 different noisemaker. You can buy one of these off of Ami for about um, $10. They're really cheap. Uh, if you want to get a screaming goat to play along with me, I often have my screaming. Where is my screaming goat? Let me get my screaming goat out. Eh. Oh, that's my boo. Where's my screaming goat? It's in my drawer. Give me a second. Yeah, you can buy a screaming goat off of Ami for like eight bucks. Uh, oh no, that is my that is my Yeti. There it is. I know I have about twenty noisemakers and buying more. I'm still buying more. Yeah, I know you're like you have enough. I'm like nope, you can never have enough noisemakers. Uh Oh, coffee's so good. Donut's so good. Yeah, it's nice. It's really nice today. Today's a nice day. It's beautiful. My window is open. It's very humid today. It was 84% humidity at 8 o'clock in the morning. Think about that. And I'm not trying to, I'm not trying to brag. I, I know those of you who are still dealing with snow and lousy weather, I apologize. It's just, I'm just enjoying the boon of decent weather coming right now because I really love sun. I'm a beach boy. I grew up in San Francisco. On my lunch breaks, I'd go to the beach. Those are my things to do. I love it when I was in high school. I always wanted to be a surfer, a boogie boarder. I never had the guts to do it because I'm afraid of sharks. So, <laughs> so yeah. Yeah, I don't like sharks. Do you know a shark has a 40,000 pound square inch biting power to give you an idea how strong 40,000 psi is the average human can exert 200 psi with a bite and you and i both know if somebody bites you that hurts okay the average dog can exert 500 psi per bite and we all know that a rot roller or a bulldog can exert almost 1300 psi so, think about that. If you got bit by any of those things, you'd be in some serious pain. Now, a shark can exert 40,000, 40K PSI on a bite. You tell me why I'm not afraid. You tell me why I'm afraid of going in the water. <laughs> 
40,000 PSI. Think about that the next time you go, you see a fin in the water. Yeah. But anyway, windows are open. People are, oh, there's a protest coming down the street. Today is going to be a loud day. <laughs> You're going to hear a lot of noises today. My window is open, but I am using noise cancellation. But you're bound to hear something. Hope you're enjoying Spring Walk by My Noise. The game is Conjury. Um, ooh, can't remember the developer's name off the top of my head. Ooh, brain is, I, I'm working. Get, let me get back into the mix here. Again, I got to get back into the mix. <laughs> um, yeah. But yeah, if you're looking for relaxing, not low to medium commentary, swing by Easy Grind. Um, if you are looking for fun, riotous times, check out my happy hour. And yes, I will be making a happy hour playlist. And I will be making a Lost Vault playlist. So those are the newest playlists that are coming. If you have some suggestions for a playlist, a game, a content, please let me know in the comments. It's okay if you cross game platforms. If you want to cross game uh, I, um, uh, game genres, if you want to talk about um, a particular game on this playlist, I prefer you give the developer of this game all your respect and time. But if you want to mention something about another game in my comments, that's fine. If it's not this game, that's okay. If you want to talk about Lost Vault or Lost Island or Idle Octa or any of the Voice of the Ancients or something else like that, um, you can talk about it in the comments. I didn't mean to be so uh, um, grumpy <laughs> when I get mad at people for asking me about something that's not related to the current game. It's okay. Just remember, I'm, I'm grumpy. I'm in my 50s. You get grumpier, to, you know, when you're my age. <laughs> I'm not saying all people my age are grumpy. I'm just grumpy. Um, what else is going on here? Um, uh, angels are, I told you already what angels are doing. Marissa is in the middle of um, convention season. So Marissa is a uh, expert at access ingenuity. So if you're looking for some training, talk to your DOR person about access ingenuity. They are, okay, let me explain what the difference between access ingenuity is in a training center. Okay. So, a training center is a place where you go to, hey, baby, what's up? Oh, how you doing, honey? Yeah, let's hook up. Okay, that's a training center. <laughs> this is Access Ingenuity. Ah, oh, LinkedIn, Portal, all, all, the, all the media apps, um, JAWS, Mac, um, um, the, the, you know, those crazy glasses, you know, those, those blue blockers that have all that information on them. Uh, education, training, NASA, um, uh, working for any agency you can think of, they train for that. That's the difference between a training center and uh, access ingenuity. You're getting some really heavy, deep education. Um, and... It's going to be free if you have a DOR hours and, and, you know, you go in there serious and you will get some serious education. Listen, by osmosis, I can tell you right now, I've learned a lot of JAWS just from listening to Marissa. And I'm not even a student. You know, my DOR days are done. But, uh, yeah, if you want to learn something, you're looking to upgrade. You're looking to get your first job. You're looking to get your second job. You're looking to get your education, college, preparation, preparation, your college preparation done. Um, yes, talk to your DOR person. Uh, swing by Access Ingenuity. They are spectacular. And, uh, yeah, you won't get any, hey, baby, but you... <laughs> But you will get a supreme education. And uh, yeah, a lot of you um, have mentioned that you're looking for that kind of stuff. You know, a lot of you are a lot younger than me. Most of you are half my age. Some of you are quarter my age. <laughs> Nothing wrong with that. Just a number. 
But yeah, get your education on. Uh, what else did I want to mention today? Get all my chatting out of the way. Uh, let's just chat while we play. Let's do that. Gold key. Platinum key. Gold key. Let's select. Platinum key. Se platinum key selected. Let's select platinum key. Start. Let's start. Map screen. Location and underscore box. Floor five. Disabled. Uh, let's turn down Button. the. Double tap to select. Uh, options bar. BGM. Gems. Options. Options. Key. Platinum. Close. Music volume. Three. Uh, let's turn Slider. music. Two. Turn music down to two. Sound effects volume. Nine. Uh, let's turn Slider. sound effects down. Double tap. Sound effects volume. Nine. Eight. Okay, I like sound effects to be high. Uh, but not too high. Music. Close. Key. Platinum. Close. Options. All right. Button. So the thing Double about Ludolf is that Ludolf doesn't come with weapons. So really, he's really subject to RNG. RNG is us. So, uh, oh, 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 okay, one story. So I've been calling, one more story. Um, so I've been calling Marissa's guide dog. Uh, I've been calling him Jesus Joe. <laughs> because he's always, you know how, you know how when you're, you're, you're blind and you walk around and you bump into stuff and Joe's, Joe is doing his job, like right near his mama in her correct side, ready to answer. And I always bump into him and I go, Jesus, Joe. So that's his new nickname. Jesus, Joe. <laughs> hey, <clears throat> no offense to all those who think that using Jesus name in vain is, uh, is, is, uh, inappropriate. Uh, I'm not religious, and I don't apologize for not being religious. But I think it's cute that I call him Jesus Joe. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> I go, Jesus Joe, and I have a little voice for him. I go, hey, are you call me Jesus Joe with respect. <laughs> He's a cutie. He is a yellow lab guide dog, properly trained, uh, Jesus Joe stories. Uh, he recently had his nails clipped. He weighed in. I'm not going to tell you his weight because uh, he told me I'm not allowed to tell you. Um, he takes a fishy pill for his pelt and he's currently, he's having a little, uh, a tiny bit of a little allergy issue. So um, Marissa is uh, rubbing in this little cute little mousse into his hair. He all smells all. He smells like a little perfume, little boy, and uh, she's rubbing this little mousse into him, and uh, it's it's kind of cute. It, it's adorable. He's a sweet, gentle, beautiful little boy. I mean, I mean, if you get a good guide dog, that's a friend for life. Let me tell you something about that. You know. Uh, Jesus Joe is absolutely amazing. He's a, he's a cutie. I love playing with him when he's not on duty. Uh, when he's not on duty. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, let's get started here. Um, Options. Gem zero. Coin zero. Map screen. Location battle. Floor one. Let's see what first Button. weapon we get. Options bar. Uh, slime appears. Your turn. Options. Slime. Player info. Your hand. Bottom bar. End turn. Your hand. Parry. Monocost. Jab. Monocost. Select a target. Target slime. Mercy, parry, mana cost one, act, parry, mana cost one, jab, mana, select a target, Kill these easy target, parry, targets. mana cost one, action, parry, mana cost, parry, mana cost, the bottom bar, and draw, enter, your hand, parry, ma, parry, ma, player info, health 20 slash, mana 2 slash 4, your hand, parry, parry, mana cost one, select a target, target slime, attack 2, parry, Let's mana block cost that one, damage. action, block, parry, bottom bar, and draw a card, draw one card, draw a card, and turn, and enemy turn. turn, parry, mana, scuttler appears, your turn, Jab. Mana cost one. Select a target. Target scuttler. Health six slash six. Target slime. Health two slash six. Parry. Ma slime defeated. Plus one two down. Cards. Parry. Parry. Mana cost one. Select a target. Target scuttler. Attack two. Let's block that too. Parry. Mana cost one. Action. So, block two damage. Pro tip number Button. one. My Double tap rule. To select. My rule on blocking with parry is it must be at least two points of damage. You can block one point of damage if you're going to die, but I really don't see the efficiency is there to block one point of damage. You have a health pool for a reason. And if you're not playing no health regain, if you're playing uh, no health regain, then you gotta block everything for the most part. But if you're playing a class that gets back all of its health at the end of a letter uh, level on the ladder, you don't need to block every single loss of health. Now, mind you, when you're playing Platinum, if an Ogre comes out, whew, yeah, you're going to get whacked. But you got to be careful. 
you know. But if your stocks are not going to get knocked off, for the most part, one damage is okay to let it go through. In fact, my rule is half my health before I start blocking one point damages. So parries are meant for two damage. The fancier cards that block three to four damage were meant for exactly those purposes. For the most part, you want to save those for any monsters that get built up. Fairies, pixies, they'll typically boost a monster's attack. Uh, karate mans, magicians, they'll boost people's attack. So, and also, uh, all of the plant monsters in this game are complete ass wipes, and they will boost their own attacks. So, you really don't want to block minuscules amount, minuscule amount of minuscule amounts of damage, unless it's going to cost you an undue, uh, untoward effect, or you're going to die. Other than that, just take the damage. That's what you're supposed to do. That's what your health pool is for. So some of these tips are going to be useless to most of you who are experts, but of course, you know, there are people coming here to listen who have never heard of some of these rules for playing Conjure. And if you're looking to play Conjure yourself, uh, I will get the links to it. Yeah, my descriptions were all wiped out. So if you're looking for links, please check out my earlier videos in each one of my series. The links are there for sure. Some of these more modern ones, uh, there are some links missing, sorry. I'll get that all figured out soon. I am a professional. Uh, Bottom bar, enter. Weapon box. Let's see what our weapon box Buttons. is. Double tap to select. Uh, uh, this is our weapon box sound. I'm gonna let you know what some of these sounds mean. You hear this? That's when we get a weapon, okay? All right. And when we get a trinket or clothing item, this is the sound. All right. Uh, if we fail, we get this sound. Uh, and if we get something that's just interesting or there's a choice to be made, you hear this sound. That's the universal ding, which means what should we do? All right, so just letting you know what these sounds are. And of course, if there's an interjection, you'll hear this. <laughs> that's our screaming goat. Um, so yeah, let's see what weapons we get here. Weapon box, weapon box. Let's open that. Add to your deck. All right. I am, what are we looking for? What I am looking for would be, um, I'd love a battle axe. Battle axes are really easy to work with. Um, I'll take a trident, though I'm not a big fan. I wouldn't mind, um... Sleepy weapons, I'm not really looking for sleepy weapons, but they're powerful. Um, I wouldn't mind something like a boomerang. A boomerang would be great, but let's find out what we get. Good rod, mana cost one, weapon, attack, two, durability, two, when you attack, draw a fish from your deck if there is one. Good rod's good Button. if you have a fish deck, Double tap to select. other than that, good rod is absolutely garbage. Breaker, mana cost three, weapon, attack, three, durability, two, unequip, give action cards in your hand plus one damage. So Breaker Button. is a Double tap burn to select. card. It basically increases your burn cards by one damage. I've used Breakers, it's just barely above, op it's not even optimal, it's suboptimal. It's, it's, it's an okay card. Take it if you have no choice. So Breaker is meh. Low staff, mana cost two, weapon, oh attack, God, one, durability, good. two, whilst equipped, gain plus one attack for each card played this turn. This card Button. at least has a purpose. Select. This card builds up, so you want to play cards first, then play this card. So this card isn't terrible, it's still meh. So overall, I'd say the bow staff here is our best bet. But of course, whatever weapon you get, that's the play style that you need to adopt. Uh, um, adapt to. So let's, we'll take the bow staff. Draw a card. Bow staff. Mana cost two. Weapon. Attack. One. Durability. Two. One options. Okay. It wasn't Button. a great choice. Double tap to select. But it doesn't mean we're stuck with it forever. There's options to remove cards. You can also put other weapons into your deck. So if you don't really like a weapon you got, you can get another weapon. Scuttler. Attack zero. All right, got a scuttler. Player info. Left scuttler. Options bar. Options. Scuttler. Attack zero. Okay, we got one enemy. Player info. Your hand. Parry. Mana cost one. Action. Right. Bottom bar. Your hand. Bow staff. Mana cost. Select a target. Equip left. Let's equip it. Parry. Mana cost one. Action. Block two. Player info. Right. Health 20 slash 20. Mana zero slash four. 
Okay, we got no mana left. Your hand. Player info. Left weapon. The bow staff. You know the bow staff. Attack. One. Durability. Two. Wild speed quick. Game. Scuttler. Attack zero. Player info. Left weapon. Bow staff. Weapon. Attack. One. Durability. Two. I think the bow staff one has only card play this turn. one cost. Button. Am I right that Double the bow select. staff has one cost? I never even noticed that before. Okay, next time before I equip it, I'm going to observe that. Okay. Um, listen to that a little bit more carefully. Um. Right weapon. Health 20 slash 20. Let's go. Mana zero slap your hand. Parry. Mana parry. Mana cost at bottom bar. Enter. Draw a card. Disable. Let's end, end our turn. Enemy turn. Parry. Mon slime appears. Your turn. Okay. Uh, we got scuttler and a slime. Bottom bar. Enter. Your hand. Jab. Mana cost one. Action. Parry. Mana cost one. Action. Parry. Mana cost one. Button. So we can Double parry some of these. Select a target. Target scuttler. Attack one. Target slime. Attack one. See, I don't Button. block one damage. Double can cancel. That's a pro tip Harry, one set. One. At bottom bar. At your hand. Jab. Mana cost. Select a target. Target scuttler. Health six slash six. Harry. Mana cost one. Action. Block two damage. Oh, here long. Uh, both Double staff is select. building up. Bottom bar. Enter your hand. Harry. Mana. Harry. Mana. Bottom bar. Enter. Draw a card. Enter your hand. Jab. Mana cost one. Jab again. Select a target. Target scuttler. Health four slash six. Uh, target slime. Let me cancel. cancel. Let me see how much Harry, the bow staff is up to. Player info. Left weapon. Bow staff. Weapon. Attack. Two. Durability. Two. Oh, one it goes up really slow. One for each. Your hand. Parry. Mana cost one. Bottom bar. Your hand. Jab. Mana cost one. Select a target. Target scuttler. Health four slash six. Parry. Mana cost one. All right. One. Now Action. the bow staff target. should be at four. Button. Bottom bar. Enter your hand. Parry. Mana cost. Player info. Left weapon. Bow staff. Weapon. Attack. Three. Durability. Oh, two. three. Okay, okay. Gain plus one attack. Select a target. Let me target hit that. Scuttler. Health two slash Kill six. that scuttler. Left weapon. Scuttler defeated. Plus two coins. Uh, Left weapon. Staff. Bow staff. Okay. Weapon. Attack. Three. Durability. It's going to need a lot quit. of power Gain ups plus to your be hand. useful. Bottom bar. Loot bag. Loot bag. Let's get see what's in button. the loot bag. Your deck. All right. What do we got in the loot bag? Uh, loot bag. Loot bag. Loot bag. What do we use for loot bag? Uh, yeah. No. No. Here we go. Tempest. Mana cost four. Action. Deal two damage to all enemies. Cost one less for each card you play this turn. Oh, this is cool. Add to your Tempest. Mana cost four. Action. Deal two damage to all enemies. Cost one less for each card you play this turn. This is okay. This Button. is basically a Double synergetic card with both staff. So the more cards we play, play the less this card costs. Uh, it's okay. It's okay. It's a burn card. It's okay. Sharpen. Mana cost two. Action. Give a weapon plus three attack. Sharpen Button. is really going to work select. really well in this deck because our bow staff doesn't have any inherent attack. So Sharpen is what we're going to take, but let's, uh, that's real good. Let's see what else we got. Sprint. Mana cost two. Action. Draw three cards. Ooh, Sprint's really Button. good. Double tap to select. It's great to draw. It works great with snag decks. If you never played a snag deck, which is basically, it's a one cost card. It's a draw card. It's a calling card. It's a speeding your deck up card. And basically when you play snag, it costs one mana, but the next card you draw costs zero. So snag is great for fishing, basically for big expensive cards and making them cost zero. It's also part of mana efficient decks. It's part of nimble decks. It's part of speed deck decks. So, um, yeah, I know it's confusing, isn't it? There's so many different decks in Conjury. But yeah, um, I love Snag. Um, Sharpen. Sprint. Mana cost two. I'm interested Action. in Draw three Sprint. Button. Oh, you know, when I, when I beat... When I beat Ludolf on gold, I had a super snag deck. Oh my god, I had like six snags in the deck. I had a nimble. I had a nimble. Okay, so when one snag calls another snag up, that snag is free. So that snag costs you nothing. And then if that snag calls another snag, that snag is free. And if you have anything that makes more cards draw, you get those effects. And if you have a nimble, the nimble gets attack increases. It's super duper broken. It's so fun. Absolutely, I'm going to have to show you all how a snag deck works. I doubt I could pull it off on platinum. Platinum is designed to be no nonsense. You're not going to get really easy times on platinum level. Platinum key is meant for beating a class. So if I beat Ludolf on platinum, then I start unlocking Reno the Ultimate Warrior. So if you're looking to unlock Reno the Ultimate Warrior, you need to beat at least two classes on Platinum Key level. Uh, maybe three. I forgot. It's been a while. Uh, I also want to give a big shout out to um, 
um, uh, to Alvin. Alvin usually gives me all the tips and stuff. Uh, uh, I got a lot of folks that give me lots. A big shout out to Heather. A uh, big shout out to other folks who give me lots of tips. A lot, and I also want to say hi to all you new subscribers. I've been getting a lot of new subscribers. Uh, we're moving toward, I think, 150 subs. I want to big, give a big shout out to all you new subs. You will stay. You will fight. All will fight. Thank you, Leonidas. Uh, yeah, um, thank you for coming to the channel, and I really hope you stick around. Uh, I, I mean, you know, I'm not usually, I'm not that bad. I'm an asshat sometimes, but <laughs> I do hope you stick around. I could be a great fella at times. So, you know what I'm saying? Thank you for joining, mates. I appreciate all of you. Um, um, thank you for coming. Hope you stick around. Mmm. Uh -huh. Okay. Stop eating donuts. Stop eating donuts, Mike. Uh -huh. I'm going to close my donut box here. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that was so good. Yeah, I just finished off. That was uh, old fashioned. Mm. It's scrumptious. Scrumptious, delicious. Delicioso. Um, so good. Ah, a little witch's brew. Got to get that frog out of my throat, ribbit. Anyway, um, as I've mentioned before, there are a lot of decks, even though I've been playing Conjury for almost a year, there are a lot of decks I haven't played yet or have made play successfully. And that's one of the keys to Conjury is finding a deck that works for you. And that's tricky, very tricky. And at the same time, if you're trying to play a more difficult setting, a more a higher difficulty setting, you're going to run into the wall. And the wall is when the monster's health gets so high and their strategies sink so well, you get your socks knocked off. That's going to happen. I would say for the most part, you have a very low percentage of beating platinum even if you're a great player, because RNG is working against you, the monsters are still getting stronger, and you're not likely to get all the cards you need. Hence, that's why this is a game. You play it over and over again, and then everything lines, the stars align, and you, you, get, you, get, you get what you need. So, uh, yeah. So yeah, the window's open today. Oh man, it's so it is so beautiful already today. I'm sorry, folks. It is so beautiful already today here in Midtown Sacramento. Let's see here. So what do we take here? What should we go for? Draw a card. Sprint. Sharpen. Mana cost two. Sharpen. Option. I Give think we take sharpen. Attack. Options. Sharpen. Sharpen will, to select. sharpen will make our bow staff at least able to attack. We'll also try to add one extract and possibly a reinforce. I don't like reinforce because it's too mana cost. I prefer extract because it can give us two attack or one uh, reinforcement or one durability. So, you know. Slime, attack one. Player info, your hand, bottom bar, your hand, sharpen, mana cost okay, two. Action. Sharpen. Give a weapon plus three attack. Not enough mana. Harry, we don't have cost enough. One. Action. Block two damage. Let's go with Button. block. Select a target. Target slime. Attack one. Cancel. Target slime. Attack oh, one. We don't need to block. Cancel. We don't need to block Harry. that. Player info. Left weapon. Bow staff. Weapon. Attack. Three. Durability. One. While speed quit. Uh, we only one have attack one card durability card left on this card. Button. Oh, we already used it. Okay. Your hand. Bottom bar. End turn. Okay, we just gonna have Button. to take that one damage. Double tap your hand. Sharpen. Bottom bar. End turn. Draw a card. Button. Oh, we could draw a card. Double tap to select. Enter your hand. Jab. Mana cost Get a one. Jab. Action. Bottom bar. Enter. Draw a card. Disable. Enter. Enter turn. Enemy turn. Slime deals one damage to you. Jab. Rat appears. Your turn. Uh, we're doing fine. Uh, it's first level. Super easy. Bottom bar. Enter your hand. Parry. Mana cost. Player info. Right web. Health nine. Mana four slash four. Uh, my microphone feels a little askew here. Your hand. Parry. Mana player info. Right web. Health nineteen slash twenty. We did not take you very much damage. Your hand. Parry. Mana cost one. Right, parry. Action. Parry. Mana cost parry. Sharpen. Mana cost. Jab. Mana cost one. Action. I Deal don't know. I don't know if I want to use my sharpen because that select. weapon's about to break. 
I don't know if I want to use my sharpen on it. Parry. Mana cost one. Let's Action. Use her. Jab. Sharpen. Mo parry. Mana Let's cost use one. Parries. Select a target. Target rat. Attack one. Target slime. Attack two. Block. Parry. Mana cost one. Act. Sharpen. Mana cost two. Jab. Mana cost one. A Select a target. Target rat. Health six slash six. Target slime. Health six slash six. Parry. Mana cost one. Action. Bottom bar. And your hand. Parry. Mana cost one. Sharpen. Mana cost. Parry. Mana. Sharp. Parry. Bottom bar. And turn. Draw a card. Draw a card. And turn. Your hand. Jab. Mana cost one. Action. Jab. Deal two. Select a target. Target rat. Health six slash six. Target slime. Health four slash six. Parry. Mana cost one. Action. Block two damage. Yeah, we're we Button. we would have to break our Double weapon. Um, some okay. Pro tip number two: to break a weapon or not break a weapon. Okay, it's really up to you. If you're not in any mortal danger, then it's okay to break a weapon. You're going to get it again. Your deck recycles. So, let's say, for instance, you have an equip card. It's called equip. It costs zero mana. If you play that, whatever weapon would be in your deck, even if it's already equipped, will come into your hand. So, all your weapons recycle as your deck keeps reshuffling itself. In fact... If you wanted to know what card was coming up next, simply know every card in your deck, put it on the desk in front of you, and you could basically know what card's coming up. If you could literally braille out every card in your deck, you're bound to get the card you're missing. Now, I don't read braille, but if you do read braille, you could actually braille out your entire deck and know when a card is coming. Simply make a pile of cards that you played cards that are in your hand and then whatever's left it's what's in your deck do you know what's coming no but if you have something called fish if you have one of those cards that fish for pulls <laughs> Ooh. excuse me Ooh. allergies if you know if you have a card that allows you to look or what we call peek at your upcoming cards you could see what's coming now i've noticed that when you peek at cards, it's not necessarily that the card at the top is the card that's coming. I thought it was, but it doesn't seem to work that way. It feels like when you peek at your deck, it reshuffles itself. Let me, somebody let me know in the comments if you've also experienced that phenomenon. Um, but anyway, um, so for pro tip two, um, is it was a pro tip two? Or are we on pro tip two? Uh, are we on pro tip two? I think we are on pro tip two. Yeah, so for pro tip two, um... Player info, your hand, parry, mana cost one, sharpen, mana cost two, parry, mana cost one, bottom bar, and turn. You can know Button. every card... Double tap well, to select. If this is pro tip two, whatever. You can know every card in your uh, deck is going to come up again. Your weapons are going to come up again. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, okay. Pro tip two, to break or not break a weapon, it, it really depends on the danger. But if it is a really annoying problematic enemy kill them or you're gonna die um who might fall into this category um any of the plant monsters are exceptionally dangerous uh goblins and snails will weaken all your weapons so you should probably prioritize killing them any monster that's attack cannot be blocked or that can disappear like the ghost or the flying creatures you need to kill them as fast as possible. Any monster that can increase the mana cost of your cards, like the witch, or confuse you like the eye of the beholder, I would prioritize killing them. It's worth breaking a weapon on them. So break that weapon off on their ass. <laughs> yeah, this is a PG-13 channel. Yeah, I do curse occasionally. I hope that's not offensive to you, but, you know, my channel, I'll do what I want to do. <laughs> Within reason. Uh, but, yeah, um, my rule and my conclusion to Pro Tip 2 is that break a weapon if you have to. But also keep in mind that RNG is benefited from knowing you have a weapon in your hand. So the way Conjury works is it it kind of peeks at what you have and starts sending you cards that synergize with what you have or what they think you might want to play. So if you really want a certain card to come out, don't break your weapon. If a card related to that weapon 
was going to come out. It would come out if that weapon was equipped. That card will not come out necessarily if that card is in your deck. Now, I have to say, if a card is in your hand, Conjury will sometimes also send you a card that synergizes with that card. So it all depends. It really all depends. All right, so, uh... Draw card. Disable. See, we got here... Button. Options bar. Options. But rat. Attack one. Slime. Attack zero. Player info. Your hand. Parry. Monocost okay, one. Match. Sharpen. Monoc parry. Monoc the bottom bar. End turn. Draw card. Let's draw another Disable. card. Oh, we're out of... End turn. We are out of Button. stuff. Double your hand. Parry. Player info. Left weapon. Bow staff. Weapon. Attack. Four. Durability. One. I'm Royalty just going to use Game it. plus one attack for each card played. This Select a target. Target rat. Health six slash six. Target slime. Health two slash six. Let's just kill Left it. Left weapon. Slime <laughs> defeated. Pl your hand. Bottom bar. Food bag. Add to your hand. Apricot. Mana cost zero. Okay. Food. Become invincible for one turn. So. Can only be used once. Apricot Button. is a get out of, Double tap get out of death free card. So if you're going to die... Play that card. You won't die. Carrot. Mana cost zero. Action. Look at the top three cards in your deck and pick one to draw. Can only be used once. Carrot is Button. a deck search. Double it's tap a to great, It could be a great card. Very useful. Grapes. Mana cost zero. Action. Draw a card and reduce its cost by one. Can only this be used once. This is a zero cost Button. card that gives you select. a card with a reduced cost. Now, um, it's a... How you use this card is up to you, but I find it to be one of the better cards. So I'm going to take that. Carrot, mo grapes, mana cost six options. Rat, player info, left weapon, not your hand, bottom bar, your hand, grapes, Let's play mana cost grapes. zero, Carry, mana cost one, action, block two damage. Grape, grape is button. a great card Double for tap to select. bow decks and nimble decks. Bottom bar, at your hand, parry, mana cost zero, action, block oh, two cool. damage. Oh cool, got a zero cost card. Button. Select a target, target rat, attack one. I don't need to block button. one. Cancel. Harry, I Monocost would block one. that Action. if it was block two. two. Damage. Player info. Rat. Options bar. Op coins. Inventory. Rat. Attack. This enemy in. Health six. Slash. Player info. Left. Right weapon. Nothing. E health 19 slash 20. See, we, we've only lost one health, so I'm not concerned. Your hand. Parry. Monocost. Bottom bar. End turn. And yes, that Button. parry card Double will remain to zero cost. Once you turn a card to zero cost, unless you play another card that makes that card have a cost, it's going to remain zero cost. Options bar, inventory. Uh, just be caught, be Button. conscious. Double tap uh, to be, select. Be conscious of, of playing fume. Uh, so if a card is zero cost and you play fume, fume turns all cards cost to one. But if your card cost was zero, fume will raise that card's cost to one. So be careful. Rat, attack one. Player info, your hand. Bottom bar, draw a card. Disabled. End turn. Yeah, Enemy turn. turn. There. Rat deals one damage to you. Perry, Slorm appears. Your turn. All right, let's get these monsters killed. Boy, it's really... When you don't get a really strong weapon, slogging through these monsters is probably... It's just really slow. Bottom bar. And your hand. Bow staff. Mana cost two. Oh, we got another weapon. bow staff. Attack. Select a target. It. Equip left. Perry. Mana there cost we one. Go. Action. Block two damage. Bottom bar. And your hand. Perry. Mana cost zero. Action. Block two damage. Perry. Mana cost let's one. Let's use our Select parries. Target. target rat. Attack two. Block that. Harry, mana cost one. Action. Block two damage. You hear that? Brrr? Button. That's the sound Double of our select. bow staff powering up because we played a card. Sharpen. Mana cost. Parry. Ma sharpen. This time mana I'm going to put. Not enough mana. Oh, I don't have enough to play sharpen. Okay. This time we are going to put sharpen on this weapon. Um. Parry. Mana cost one. Sharpen. Parry. Mana cost zero. Bottom bar. End turn. Your hand. Parry. Mana cost zero. Player info. Left weapon. Bow staff. Weapon. Attack. Two. Durability. Oh, two. I really want to. Gain plus one attack for each card. I really want to. Okay. Your hand. Parry. Mana. Select a target. Target rat. Attack zero. Target slorm. Attack two. Let's block that. Sharpen. Mana cost yeah, two. Yeah, I will Action. block Give two weapon damage. Plus three attack. Player info. Left weapon. Bow staff. Weapon. Attack. Three. Durability. Let's Select hit a target. Somebody. Target rat. Health six slash six. Target slorm. Health six slash six. We hit that one. Left weapon. Bow staff. Yeah, weapon. I'm gonna attack. hit three. Durability. I'm gonna block one. any two quit. damage. Gain plus one attack for each card played this turn. I will put a. I will put Sharpen on that weapon next turn so that possibly we can kill one monster with one hit. Your hand, bottom bar, options bar, rat, slorm, player info, your hand, bottom bar, end turn, draw a card, disable. Uh, we're turn. out of time. Enemy we're turn. out of uh, moves. Sharpen, the rat appears, your turn. Okay, now we're going to use Sharpen. Bottom bar, end your hand, jab, mon parry, mon sharpen, mon select a target, apply to left weapon. Let's apply that to button. left. Parry, mon cost zero, action, block two damage. Okay, so Button. we also got the benefit select. of playing a card, but we also got the benefit of sharpen. Player info, left weapon, bow staff, weapon, attack, five, durability, one, See? whilst equipped. So now it's plus five. Turn. 
your hand. Parry. Mana cost zero. Oh, Action. Block. Player info. Mana two. Your hand. Parry. Mana. Select a target. Block. Target rat. Attack two. Maybe block the rat. Button. Target rat. Attack one. Target slower. Attack one. Let's block the rat. Target rat. Target rat. Attack two. Jab. Mana cost one. Action. Okay. Deal two. Da Options bar. Inven inventory. <laughs> Rat, rat, attack, slorn, player info, left weapon, bow staff, weapon, attack, six, durability. Okay, we one, have, we can one shot Game plus one, slorn, attack one, player info, your hand, jab, mana cost, player info, left weapon, bow staff, weapon, attack, six, durability, one, select a target, target rat, health six slash six, target rat, health six, button. let's kill, oops, kill, Double attack, target slorn, health three slash six, let's kill, target rat, health six slash six, kill this rat with six, left weapon, rat defeated, plus two coins, yeah. left, your hand, bottom bar, loot bag, oh, uh, we got a loot bag, button. let's see if Double we, tap to select. Get something good with the loot bag. Loot bag. <laughs> Add to your deck. All right. What do we get? Ripple. Mana cost one. Action. Ripple. Draw any fish that are in your deck. This is Button. good if you have a fish deck. Double tap to select cash. Mana cost one. Action. Add a shard to your deck. This is Button. actually a good burn card. Select. So cash costs you one mana, but it gives you this little damaging zero cost shard. It's like a little meteor spell, and it's 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 quite effective. It's really good, actually. That's a possibility. Snap. Mana cost one. Action. Block one damage and draw a card. This is a Button. defensive card. Double tap to select. I've never really liked it. You draw a card, you block one damage. It's okay. It's it's okay. It's not meh. It's okay. But we're gonna take the um, we're gonna take the cash card. Cash. Mana cost one. Action. Add a shard to your deck. Inventory. Yeah, I Button. love cash. Double tap and to select. It isn't temporary. It's in your deck. Rat. Attack zero. Slorm. Player info. Your hand. Jab. Bottom bar. At your hand. Cash. Mana cost one. Action. Add a shard to your deck. Let's go ahead and Jab. activate Mana cost one. that. Action. Deal two damage. Yeah. Button. I'm gonna make Double tap to select. I am still going to make videos on the cards of Conjury. I, I'm working on it. It's called Conjury the Cards. So that's coming. That series is coming. Bottom bar, option bar, in, 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 inventory, rat, attack zero, slorm, attack one, player info, left weapon, nothing, e right weapon, health 18, sl mana one slash four. We got one mana left. Your hand, jab, mana cost one. Let's jab. Select a target, target rat, health six slash six, target slorm, health three slash six. Let's hit it. Inventory. So the, we just need one button. damage to kill that Double creature. tap to select, rat, a slorm, player info, bottom bar, end turn, draw a card, disable, end, end turn. turn, enemy turn. Slorm deals one damage to you, let slorm appears, your turn, left All weapon. Right, still got a clear. lot of enemies left. Your hand, bottom bar, options bar, in the rat, slorn, slorn, player info, left, your hand, jab, bottom bar, at your hand, jab, mana cost one, jab. Action, player info, mana four, your hand, jab, jab. Mana, select Let's a target, finish target off rat, that health one. six slash six, target slorn, health six slash six, target slorn, health one slash six, finish off that slorn, inventory. slorn defeated, plus right. two coins, inventory, we should be getting a food bag Button. now, rat, slorn, attack, player info, bottom bar, and turn, loot bag, okay, loot bag, back to your deck, uh, loot bag, what we got in the loot bag, Courage. Mana cost one. Action. Give a weapon plus three damage for this turn only. Button. Double tap to select. Courage is good. If you play courage correctly, courage is good and it's cheap. Cash. Mana cost one. So Action. courage is good. Courage. Cash. Mana cost one. Another Action. cash. I would love to do to a cash deck. Ooh. Cash money. Ooh. Uh, I don't. That's a strong possibility. Swipe. Mana cost zero. Action. Deal one damage. Swipe is an Button. okay card. It costs you zero mana. You'd be surprised how many times enemies just have one health and you don't have you don't have a jab to spare. Swipe is a great card. And unfortunately though, it clogs up your deck a little bit. So let's take cash. Mana cost one. Cash. Action. Add a shard to your deck. Inventory. Alright, what Button. else we got here? Double tap to select. Rat. Attack one. Slorm. Attack two. Player info. Left weapon. Right weapon. Nothing equipped. Health 17 slash 20. Mana 3 slash 4. We got 3 mana left, 17 health out of 20. Your hand. Up search. Mana cost 2. Action. Deal 2 damage for every fish you have played this battle. Oh no! Total fish zero. Cash turned into Button. a fish card! Double tap to select. Pro tip number 3. What is up surge? Okay, so there is a trick in Conjury. It's a joke. If you take a certain card and you can't have more than one, you'll get this stupid card called Upsurge. It is a card you should remove because it is absolute, absolute, wait, wait, where? Absolute garbage. <laughs> it's okay if you're running a fish deck. Okay, so it's a trick. Basically, you see a good card from a loot bag. That card will turn into Upsurge, which is a stupid fish card.
which depending on how many fish you have played this turn will do damage to an enemy. It's too expensive. It's too, um, um, what's the word for it? Um, situational. And it's horrible. And it's, it, it's just a card you should remove. It's worth the 20 coins to remove. It's garbage. And again, you notice that I selected cash, but I got that card. So if you try to take cards that you can't have more than one copy of, you'll get this stupid card. And uh, yeah, <laughs> that's the punishment for you for being greedy. <laughs> the developer in this game is very cheeky. The developer is very cheeky, very much. Uh, but yeah, now I'm stuck with Upsurge, which is trash. And I don't know if I'm going to spend money to remove it, but I'd love to get rid of it. It's a terrible card. It's going to slow my deck down just horribly. So. Bottom bar. End turn. Options bar. In inventory. Wrap. Slorm. A player info. Left weapon. Your hand. Upsurge. Mana cost two. At bottom bar. End turn. Yeah, and I only got one card in my hand. It's a stupid Upsurge. Yeah. Uh, very horrible. Okay, so... Your hand. Ups player info. Slorm. Attack. Player info. Your hand. Upsurge. Player info. Left weapon. Nothing equipped. We got nothing equipped. Let's Button. draw a card. Your hand. Upsurge. Bottom bar. Enter. Draw a card. Enter. Your hand. Parry. Mana cost one. We got a parry. Select a target. We'll block target something. Rat. Attack one. Target slorm. Attack two. Let's block the slorm. Button. Upsurge. Mana cost two. At bottom bar. Enter. Draw a card. Oh, we got Button. one more draw. And turn your hand. Jab. Mana cost not enough mana. Okay, that's it. We're out of uh, moves. Bottom bar. And turn. And we're turn. almost done. We got about Rapid two or three more enemies Jab. to fight. Rapid your turn. Yeah, we still got three enemies, so we still got to finish all these these chumps. Bottom bar. And turn your hand. Jab. Mana cost one. Action. Select a target. Target rat. Health six slash six. Target slorm. Health six slash six. Target rat. Health six slash six. Upsurge. Mana cost two. Bottom bar. And your hand. Jab. Mana cost one. Select a target. Target rat. Health six slash six. Target. Target rat. Health four slash six. Upsurge. Mana cost. Bottom bar. And draw a card. And turn your hand. Shard. Mana cost zero. Action. Oh, there's our Deal shard. Damage. Yes. Help. Select a target. Target rat. Health six slash six. Um. Button. Target rat. Health six slash six. Target slorm. Health six slash six. Upsurge. Mana cost two. Action. And that Deal love that sound. Have played this battle. <sighs> Total fish zero. It's got that lightning sound. Button. I love that Double lightning tap to sound. Um. Bottom bar. And turn. Draw a card. Draw a card. Button. And turn. Your hand. Bow staff. Mana cost two. Oh, we got another bow staff. Attack. One. Durability. Two. Whilst bottom bar. Your hand. Bow staff. Mana cost two. Weapon. Attack. Oh, it's two one. costs two. for the bow staff. Equip. Not enough mana. Okay, okay. I thought the bow staff was a one cost. But I'm sure you could alter it up to zero cost. I think that's where it becomes valuable. Bottom bar. Options bar. In wrath. Attack Again, two. Again, I doubt I'm going to waste altars in the bow staff. It's not particularly promising. Um, Slorn. Rat. Player info. I've Left never beaten this game with the bow button. staff. The bow staff Double is not the weapon that will help you beat platinum level. Your hand. Bottom bar. The bow turn. staff is basically a joke button. weapon. Options bar. Rat. Attack. Slorn. Rat. Attack two. Player info. Your hand. Bottom bar. And turn. Button. Draw a card. Disable. And turn. Uh, we're out of turn. Button. We're out Enemy of moves. Turn. Rat deals two damage to you. Slorm deals one damage to you. Rat deals two damage to you. Ow! Return. Okay, now we're getting smacked on. We might lose. We might lose because we just have just a terrible deck. Option bar. Inventory. Rat. Slorm. Attack. Rat. Player info. Your hand. Upsurge. Mono. Bottom bar. Enter. Your hand. Parry. Mono cost one. Post staff. Mono. Select a Let's target. Let's equip Equipment that. Rat. Upsurge. Mono cost two. Bottom bar. And your hand. Parry. Mono cost. Uh, select a target. Target rat. Attack one. Target slorm. Attack two. Let's block that. Upsurge. Mana cost two. Bottom bar. And your hand. Upsurge. Mana cost two. Action. Bottom bar. And draw a card. Let's draw a card. And turn. Your hand. Parry. Mana cost one. Yeah, Action. we. Block oh damage. man, our deck is so terrible. Player info. Left weapon. Bow staff. Weapon. Attack. Two. Durability. Let's... Two. Life equip. <laughs> Game plus two one damage. Attack for each card play oh, this turn. God. Right weapon. Nothing equipped. Left weapon. Bow staff. We right weapon. Health eleven slash twenty. We have eleven health left. We're still alive. Your hand. Bottom bar. And turn. It's in their Enemy turn. turn. Rat deals one damage to you. Rat deals one damage to you. Your turn. Okay, we get a good card. Options bar. In the rat. Slorm. Rat. Player info. Your hand. At this Upsurge. point, Mono our jabs two. are Action. all we have. Deal two. Bottom bar. And your hand. Sharpen. Mana cost two. Oh, good. Action. We have a sharpen. Yes. Three attack. Select a target. Apply to left weapon. Upsurge. Thank Mono goodness. cost two. Action. Bottom bar. And your hand. Parry. Mana cost one. Select a target. Target rat. Attack two. Target slorm. Attack one. Target rat. Attack two. Let's block that Upsurge. rat. Mana cost two. Player info. Now weapon. our bow staff, weapon. Bow staff attack. Six. should Durability. hit good. Two. Whilst select a target. Target rat. Health six slash six. Left Boom. weapon. Rat defeated. Left got weapon. that rat bow dead. Staff, your hand. Bottom bar. Exit level. Okay, we got our exit. Button. We could leave, to but it's better to kill everything. Bottom bar. Enter your hand. Upsurge. Player info. Let right weapon. Health. Mana one slash four. 
Your hand. Player info. Health nine slash twenty. We got nine health. We could take a few more hits. Rat. Slorm. Options bar. Option. Slorm. Attack one. One attack from the slorm. Rat. Attack zero. Zero attack from that. One damage. We can take it. Let's see if we can hurt some more of these creatures. Player info. Left. Your hand. Up search. Mana cost. Bottom bar. End turn. Draw a card. No, we can't. Let's Bottom. just draw a card. End turn. Your hand. Harry. Mana cost one. Not enough mana. Okay. We can still make it. Bottom bar. End turn. Let's try to kill these last Enemy two turn. monsters. Slorm deals one damage to you. Your turn. Okay. Exit level. Exit, le exit level. Bottom bar. End turn. Your hand. Cash. Mana cost oh, one. Oh, we got a Action. cash. Good. Action. Good. Action. Mana cost Good. Two. We'll get a Deal two damage for every five have played damage this card. Total. Bottom bar. End your hand. Parry. Mana cost one. Action. Block two damage. Bottom bar. Your hand. Parry. Mana cost one. Parry. Select the target. Target slorm. Attack two. Target rat. Attack one. Let's block target this slorm. Attack slorm. Attack two. Upsurge. Mana cost two. Action. Bottom bar. Enter. Draw a card. Let's draw a card. End turn. Your hand. Jab. Mana cost jab. one. Select a target. Target slorm. Health one slash six. Target rat. Target slorm. Let's Health kill one that slash slorm. Upsurge. Slorm defeated. Plus bottom bar. Loot bag. Okay, loot bag. Death. Let's see. Maybe loot bag will be nice to us after basically screwing us. Mine. Mana cost one. Action. Look at the top three cards in your deck and choose one to draw. Button. Mine is select. a good card. It is a great card, actually. Um, it really comes in handy if you're looking for just the right card. Chop. Mana cost two. Action. Deal three damage. If the enemy survives, draw a card. Chop is Button. okay. If you want to, if you're running a nimble monk deck, it's okay. Dash. Mana cost one. Action. Draw two cards. Dash Button. is an overall to select. card. It's mediocre, but it's not meh. It's okay. Uh, Dash is a good card if you're in a snag deck. It's a great snag deck card. Ooh, boy. In a snag deck, Dash is king or queen. Um, but um, yeah, Dash is a great card. Um, Chop. Mine. Mana cost one. I'm going to take Look at the mine, top three cards in your deck and chose one to draw. Exit level. Because mine is a Button. great Double card to for... It's a Yu-Gi-Oh card. It's basically looking through your deck for what you need. You know, it's like, Exodia! Exbliterate! <laughs> it's basically for it's basically for searching for Exodia. If you don't know who Exodia is, then go back and watch Yu-Gi-Oh on Netflix. I'm not sponsored by either. <laughs> But if you have never watched Yu-Gi-Oh, you need to go watch Yu-Gi-Oh. There's a whole season one, freaking 45 episodes you can watch on Netflix. It's fantastic. It's very, very family-friendly entertainment. I do believe they have like a strong, they have a language reminder because I think one of the characters says, darn. <laughs> I think it's so hilarious that there's a language uh, uh, parental warning <laughs> because occasionally one of the characters are kind of rough on each other uh, with some very, very, very mild language. I mean, there's no profanity. I think the worst word they've used in that show is darn <laughs> or gosh. <laughs> um, to some people, that's offensive. If they're really super sensitive, but... Um, <clears throat> Basically, Yu-Gi-Oh! is a card video game slash series animation come to life. It's fantastic. It actually surplants even the card game itself. It's so good. It's so, it's so meta. If you were into Yu-Gi-Oh! back in the day, that series was both meta, it was strategy, it was humor, it was just chat. You know, it, 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 it's, it's so good. Again, if you've never watched Yu-Gi-Oh, go watch Yu-Gi-Oh. It's so good. All right, let's go with uh, let's finish off this last enemy. Bottom bar, your hand. Player info. <coughs> Rat. Options bar. Rat. Attack one. He's got one attack. We got plenty of health. Player info. Left weapon. Bow staff. Weapon. Attack seven. Durability Ooh, one. Wild we could kill it Game easily. Plus one attack for each card played. Select a target. Target rat. Health two slash six. Uh, let's kill it. Left weapon. Rat defeated. Pluck your hand. Bottom bar. Food bag. Uh, food bag. Uh, food bags don't Double tap matter. Pro tip four. Food bags come out about the fourth kill on a level. What you're looking to do with food bags is find something like pepper. Pepper is one of the best food cards. You're looking for apricots. That's a get out of death free card. 
Another card you might want to get is an apple or banana. Those are exceptionally good. And of course, grapes are great for culling your deck and drawing free cards. So remember, when you get a food card, that's when you're looking to supplement or save your life. So pick a card that you can expect is going to be useful. So you're not looking for any, you're not going to get any weapons or anything. And none of those cards are permanent. But you will get something temporary that will kind of give you a helping hand. Food bag, food bag. Button, add to your hand. All right, let's get our food bag. What do we got in our food bag? Scallions, mana cost zero. Action, give action cards in your hand plus two damage. Can only be used once. So if you're running a burn Button. deck, Scallions to is absolutely fantastic. Uh, basically makes all your burn cards do one extra damage. You might say, is that even worth it? Yes, it is. And it's a zero cost card. So Scallions, absolutely great. Lemon, mana cost zero. Food, add a random mm. spell to your hand from any class. It costs one, can only be used once. Some people think lemon is Button. terrible, but lemon Double is fantastic. You get a card from any class, any class. Think about that, any class. All right, and it only costs one. So lemon is fantastic, it can save your life. And lemon can grant you just about any card in the game. Eggplant, mana cost zero. Food, restore 12 health and lose one mana for the rest of this battle. So, can only be used once. <laughs> eggplant is two Button. things. Eggplant Double is what it may be something you get sent on your date night, or it could mean you also get uh, 12 health back and you lose one mana. So, um, eggplant is a great card. Uh, not great if you're running battle axes, but uh, it's a great card if all your weapons have a cost below three. Uh, other than that, be careful with eggplant. It can be a little problematic, but uh, you know, eggplant. If you're if you're about to die, take an eggplant. You have no choice. You know, take an eggplant to the face. Uh, let's see. But we're fine right now, so we don't need that. Lemon, mon scallions, monocot, lemon, monocot. Take exit lemon. Level. I'm gonna take lemon Button. and let you hear Double what comes up. Exit, exit level. Bottom bar. And turn. Your hand. Lemon. Let's play lemon. Upsurge. Mana cost two. Actions. Uh, Deal two damage. What did we you get with battle. lemon? Total. Bottom bar. End turn. Your hand. Rumble. Mana cost zero. Action. Deal four damage. Cost one less for each card you play this turn. Oh, we get rumble. Button. Rumble is a great Double card. Double tap to select. Rumble is all about playing cards. So rumble actually works really well with the bow staff deck. Mine. Mana cost one. Action. Upsurge. Mana cost two. Action. Deal two damage for every fish you have played this battle. Total fish zero. Yeah, Upsurge. Button. Upsurge is so select. stupid. I hate it so bad. I think that's it. I think we've beaten level one. Let me take a quick look. I'm going to end this turn, take a quick little break. Let's change the music. Uh, but yeah, um, we had a lot of chatting. We got through 4-4 four, four pro tips. We're going to go see what we get for level two. I really hope we don't get an altar because I really don't care about this run. Uh, but I will give it my 100% effort. Um I would say we want to upgrade bow staff at the altar, but it's not really going to help. It's still going to be trash, but um, yeah, we'll do it if we have to. In events, we could get the burglars, and we don't want the thieves on the road. They're horrible, and they're really hard on platinum. But let's go ahead and end this turn, escape, uh, take a quick little break. Give me five minutes to refill my coffee, um, uh, do a quick bio. And then we'll continue on to the second rung of the ladder, level two. Bottom bar, enter your hand. Rumble, mana cost zero. Action, deal for bottom bar, and turn. Draw a card. Let's draw a card. Disable. And turn. So turn. Escape. All right, escape. All right, I'll be right back, and then we'll change the music, okay? Next. Map screen. Location mid underscore boss. Floor five. Disable. All right, give me one quick second. Button. And I'm going to double tap right to select. Back. All right. Well, oh, where's my. Uh, Sound for you guys. Where's my waiting room music? Where's my... Hold on, let me find my waiting room music. Uh, where's my waiting room music? Is this it? Give me a second. Is this my... This is it. Hello, and thank you for calling. There you go. Enjoy. Please hold on, and we will connect you. Are you still there? Please hold a moment. Sorry for the delay. We will connect you shortly. Are you still there? Please hold on.
almost ready. Just gotta refill my coffee. Just about back here, connecting my mic. You'll hear a little sound adjustment. That is me fixing. I use lapel. Uh, I use uh, Rode lapel mics. Those are the microphones I use. Unfortunately, there are some drawbacks. There's a lot of noise when you move around a lot, adjust slump in your seat or something. So you will hear that. I am aware of it. There's nothing I can do to change it. I'm comfortable with it. I'm comfortable with it, so don't waste your comments on it. I already know that there's gonna be feedback you hear, so just understand, I'm just a human, just like you. So I don't worry about every little thing. You know what they say? Don't sweat the small stuff. You can hear my coffee cup when I put it down, and I have a little stone coaster here. These are really cute, I got them from a um, market. They're little stone coasters, they're super cute. Um, I think one of the little legs broke off one of them. So uh, one of my coasters had to be thrown out. I don't like things that break. I don't keep it because I'm never going to buy crazy glue and I'm never going to fix it. <laughs> All right. Thank you. Waiting room noisemaker. I love that noisemaker. I got that from Amazon. I think it's about 20 bucks. So if you're looking to get that one, it's great for telemarketers. <laughs> I just play that over and over again. It drives them crazy. And actually, you can set it to continuously play if you really want to be annoying. Okay, we got another cup of conjury. We're warming up. We are warming up. If you are just now joining us and you've been fast forwarding, we just finished level one. We got the bow staff, it's a terrible weapon. It's gonna, sl we're slogging through the enemies. This is Platinum Key. This is Ludolf. The game is Conjury. And you have joined us here in game. Double tap the channel that describes absolutely everything for the blind and visually impaired. I am Michael Gray. Thank you for joining me. Please like, subscribe, set your notifications and your bell to all. I appreciate that. And then double tap it all. <laughs> So, um, again, it's going to be 83 degrees here in Sacramento. Beautiful, beautiful day. Having lunch with the lovely Marissa. We're going to have sandwiches or we're going to get smoothies. It's up to her. Humidity is 84 degrees today. So, whew, put your shorts on today. 
Put your shorts on. I got it. I'm, I'm, I can't wait to get out there today. Um, we're going to have to get done with this video, get in the shower, get all cleaned up, put on my put on my player looking shorts, put on my shorts, you know, my player, 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 short, put on my shorts, <laughs> go out there, hang out with my girlfriend and uh, enjoy uh, a beautiful day. Um, probably go to our local smoothie shop, get ourselves some nice, delicious uh, smoothies. Um, we have a local place that's really good. They know us. It's really nice. We sit outdoors and and uh, Jesus Joe shows off and stuff. And he flirts with all the little doggies that come by. He's very flirty. He's a very flirty uh, 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 guy dog. Very flirty. But very well behaved. Ex ex exemplary behavior. <laughs> I call him Jesus Joe for a reason. <laughs> uh, all right. Let's get going here. Let's get back into level two. Let's find out on the ladder what they're offering. So the, the things that they can offer, pro tip, I think we're in pro tip number five. You are offered three different choices on the second rung of the ladder. An event, which could be one of three or four different kind of activities. Good and bad, doesn't really matter. They're just something. And you can be offered an altar. An altar is a place where you can upgrade your weapons for coins. And the third possibility is a fight. And the fight can be hard and it can, sometimes it can be easy. Also be aware that certain events will make a fight happen if you choose the wrong option. All right. So those are the things to keep in mind. That that's what the second rung of the ladder going up uh, the ladder leads to. Also, if you're wondering what the series name is for Easy Grind, it's called Mountain. So that is its nickname because it's like a mountain. So uh, if you're looking to watch these episodes with zero commentary, swing by Easy Grind and click on all the mountain videos. Again, big shout out to My Noise for the use of their wonderful springtime walk. Um, it's really cute. Um, it's really, really nice. All right, let's uh, let's get going here. So we didn't get. A sh let's see if we get a shop. I'm actually hoping. Option smart coin sixteen. With sixteen coins, shop isn't going to be very useful. Actually, I prefer an altar. That would be good. Map screen location battle floor one. Location battle, floor two. Okay, we got a battle. Button, location altar, floor two. Oh, we got an altar, so Button. we'll take we'll take Double the altar. To select. Loca location altar, <clears throat> floor two. Let's take the altar. Place a weapon upon the altar to receive an upgrade. Place a weapon upon the altar to receive an upgrade. So it's 10 coins, pro tip number six, how the altar works. So the first upgrade is 10 coins, all right? Even if your weapon's already been upgraded, the cost is 10 coins. The second weapon is... 20 coins the third weapon i believe is 30 coins and the fourth is 40 coins if you got that kind of skill save it for the shop okay so we're going to upgrade our bow staff 10 coins to upgrade weapon bow staff mana cost two weapon attack one durability two whilst equip gain plus one attack for each card play this turn let's play that durability upgraded okay we got a durability upgrade that is actually really good because technically we can get attack durability was the problem Okay, so we'll take that. Options bar, leave. Let's leave. Map screen, location and underscore boss, floor five, disabled. All Button. right, let's go to, Double we're going to be select. on floor, we're going to be on the third floor. Location, lo disabled, options bar, coin six, map screen, location alter, floor two, location battle, floor three. Let's go floor three. Options Here we go. Bar. Uh, porcupine appears. Your this turn. is options. often where I lose. Button. Again, if you don't Double get a good weapon, platinum key will wipe you out. So this is where I expect for us to lose. Porcupine. Player info. Your hand. Bo player info. Porcupine. Attack two. This enemy in health eight slash eight. Okay, the porcupine will damage you whenever you hit it. It's got eight health, which is really high actually considering our weapon. Player info. Your hand. Bow staff. Mana cost two. Weapon. Attack one. Let's put our Select bow staff on. Upsurge. Mana cost two. Action. Deal two damage for every fish you have. Total fish zero. 
Chat. Monocost one. Uh, Action. Chat. Monocost one. Bottom bar. Enter. So with the porcupine, Double you can select. try to kill it. But with equipping a weapon, I don't think I have enough to kill it. So it's not really worth it to try to kill it. It's just going to damage you. It's like giving it free damage. You're better off just letting it hit you. I'm just going to draw a card. Draw a card. Enter your hand. Sharpen. Monocost oh, two. Oh, good. We're going to sharpen. Good. Attack. We'll put that on next turn. But bottom bar. Enter. Draw a card. Draw another card. Enter your hand. Cash. Monocost Oh, good. Action. Good. Add a shard to your deck. All right. That's Button. the best our Double deck can select. do. We got a sharpen and we got a cash. That's actually really good for this deck. Bottom bar. Enter. Draw a card. Disable. Enter. Enter turn. Enemy turn. Porcupine deals two damage to you. A zombie appears. Enter oh, turn. God. Yes, you get zombies really early on platinum. Bottom bar. Enter. Zombies are ruthless. Your hand. Parry. Monocost. Uh, cash. Monocost. Sharpen. Let's Monocost. Go sharpen. Select the target. Apply to left weapon. Put that in our left. Button. Cancel. Apply to left weapon. On search. Monocost right, two. Cool. Action. Bottom bar. And your hand. Parry. Monocost Let's, one. Uh, Action. Bottom bar. And turn. Your hand. Cash. Monocost one. On search. Activate Monocost cash. Two. Action. Deal. Bottom bar. And your hand. Parry. Monocost and let's one. Parry. Action. Select a target. Target porcupine. Attack three. Target zombie. Attack two. Let's block the zombie Button. completely. Monocost two. Action. All right. Deal two damage. Now we'll use our weapon. Player info. Left weapon. Bow staff. Weapon. Attack. Seven. Durability. Oh, three. Wild speed quit. Gain plus one attack for each card played this turn. Select a target. Target porcupine. Health eight slash eight. Let's hit it anyway. Mess with the quills. Get the spikes. Okay. Left weapon. We, Bow staff. He's got weapon. one health attack. left, so Seven. we'll kill Durability. him. Durability. Your hand. Up search. Monocost two. Parry. Monocost one. Action. Block. Not enough mana. Jab. Monocost. Bottom bar. End turn. Let's end our turn. Button. Enemy turn. Porcupine deals three damage to you. Small appears. Your turn. Yeah, we're gonna get rid of that porcupine. Yes, we're gonna get rid of him. Bottom bar. Enter your hand. Jab. Monocost. Select a target. Target porcupine. Health one slash eight. Up search. Porcupine defeated. All right. Two coins. Up search. Monocost two. Pro Action. Tip Deal two damage for every fish you have played this battle. Seven. Total fish zero. The first box Button. you receive Double on a new select. floor is a weapon box. That is the first box you receive. Make a wise choice because that's the only weapon box you're going to usually receive that particular floor bottom bar and turn weapon box let's open that button here we go double tap to select weapon box back to your deck what do we got let's hear hopefully we get a really good weapon boomerang monocost three oh! weapon attack two durability two when this breaks return it to your hand with plus one, one of attack. the best weapons in the game one. folks boomerang button double tap to select absolutely fantastic Dungler, monocost three, shield block, two, durability, two. After you play three cards in a turn, draw a card. Dungergird is a card, to uh, I don't know how to pronounce it, Dungergird, whatever. Uh, it's a card you play if you have a nimble deck. Yeah, it's it's situational, it's 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 not great. Bastion, monocost two, shield block, two, durability, two. When you block with this, gain plus one mana on your next turn. Bastion is Button. actually one of the- Double tap to select. Bastion is one of the best offhands it basically gives you free mana. And if you upgrade it, you're gonna get so much mana with this card. Again, Bastion is good if you don't, if you already have good weapons, consider Bastion. It's a great, great card. That of course would be Pro Tip 7. All right, so we're gonna take- Dumbledore, Boomerang, Monocost 3. Let's weapon, take Boomerang. Attack, 2, Durability, 2. When this breaks, return it to your hand with options. Now Button. we're good. With Double Boomerang in our hand, it will benefit both staff. Yeah, mind you, Boomerang doesn't have to be upgraded. It's perfect the way it is. So we're actually set if we can survive. We'll see what happens though. Zombie, attack three. Uh, you might want to lower the cost of Boomerang, but I would say be careful. The altar is known to be a fickled mistress and she might increase its durability, which would ruin it. You do not want your boomerang, that is pro tip eight, of course. You do not want your boomerang's durability to be increased. You want your boomerang to increase its damage, but that's risky. It's rolling the dice. I would have to say for the most part, don't even risk the boomerang at the altar. It's just not worth it. It's not worth it. Just play it as it is. Get detached. Detach is a great card. Works really well with boomerang. That would be pro tip number nine. Mo, attack two. Player info, your hand, up search, bottom bar, and turn, your hand, boomerang, monocost uh, three. Do we have enough? Select a target. Oh, Equip cool, left. cool, cool. Equip right. Let's put that on the up right. Search. Monocost two, action. Player info, left weapon, bow staff, weapon, attack, six, durability, two. Oh, yeah, three. our bow staff's getting heavy. Card. Right weapon, boomerang, weapon, Let's attack, use boomerang. Select a target, target zombie, health eight slash eight. 
Target mole. Health aid slash aid. Hit the mole. Right weapon. Boomerang. Weapon. Attack. Two. Durability. One. All Notice right. Rates. I'm going to finish off our pro tips. One attack. It cannot cost less than one. I'm going to finish button. our pro tips off so I can Double focus on the episode. So our last pro tip, pro tip 10, dealing with the zombie. So the zombie is another creature you're going to want to save for last in your rotation of kills. Simply because it's going to fill your hand with rotten flesh. And rotten flesh is very problematic because it costs you three health and it draws a card. But the bad thing is it costs you three health and you can't afford to get all that trash in your hand. And it also clogs up your hand. So save the zombie for last. Try to kill it with one shot. That's your best bet. All right, let's go with your hand. Bottom bar. Option spark. Zombie. No. Player info. Your hand. Bottom bar. And your hand. Jab. Mana cost one. Here we got a jab. 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 Mana jab, cost parry. Mana cost one. Parry. Action. Up search. Mana cost two. Parry. Mana She's cost parry. one. Not enough mana. We don't have enough. So let's uh. Player info. Left weapon. Bow staff. Weapon. Attack. Six. Durability. Right weapon. Boomerang. Weapon. Attack. Two. Durability. One. Left weapon. Let's bow use bow staff. Select the target. Target zombie. Health eight slash eight. Target mole. Health six slash Let's eight. finish off the mole. Left weapon. Mole defeated. Okay, Plus we two got coins. the mole Left done. Weapon, your hand. Bottom bar. Loot bag. Let's see. Add to your deck. What are we gonna get in our loot bag? Snore. Mana cost three. Action. Deal six damage. Cost three less if you are sleeping. Uh, snore is Buffy. a sleep card. Double we tap don't to need that. Destitute. Mana cost one. Action. Deal six damage. Lose two coins if you have any. Destitute is a Buffy. great card. Double but tap to select. Coins are hard to come by, so. Quake. Mana cost three. Action. Deal four damage. Cost one less for each card in your hand that didn't come from your deck. Quake is a card Button. that works really... Quake is a card that works well with certain weapons, uh, but not in this deck, so there's nothing here good. Draw a card. Button. Double tap to select. Options. Okay, so nothing good Button. in that loot box. Double zombie. Option spark. Inventory. Zombie. Player info. Your hand. Bottom bar. Option spark. Zombie. Player info. Your hand. Bottom bar. And option spark. Zombie, player info, your hand, up search, Mo bottom bar, enter, your hand, parry, mana we cost one, parry. action, jab, mana cost one, Let's go parry, with mana, parry. not enough mana, we don't have enough, so, what's player left, player info, zombie, option spark, zombie, attack three, we got a zombie with attack three, we can't kill it, player info, left weapon, bow staff, weapon, attack, six, durability, right weapon, boomerang, weapon, attack, two, durability, one, when this breaks, uh, we don't have anything to attack. kill that zombie, cost less than one. if we can build button. up the bow staff, double tap to select, if the bow staff can kill that zombie with one shot, it's worth breaking it off on it. Your hand. Bottom bar. End turn. Draw a card. Disable. End turn. Enemy turn. Zombie deals three damage to you. Up. Fish appears. Your turn. You're oh, we got a some fish. Trouble. Looks like our upsurge card is actually going to have some use. Bottom bar. End turn. Your hand. Mine. Mana cost one. Let's Action. go with Look mine. At the top Draw a card. Let's see what we can get with mine. Okay. Parry. Mana cost one. Action. Block two damage. Parry, no. Up. Jab. Mana cost one. Action. Jab, deal two maybe. damage. Bow staff, mana cost two, weapon, two attack, bow staffs, one, durability, not three, really miles exact equipped, game plus one attack useful. for each card played this turn. But let's get it anyway. Up search, mana At cost least two, if action, we break two our bow staff, we'll have another battle. one ready Total to go. Total fish zero, player info, left weapon, bow staff, right weapon, boomerang, weapon, attack, two, durability, one, when this breaks, return okay, let's to your play hand our with boomerang. plus, right weapon, boomerang, weapon, select a target, target zombie, health eight slash, target fish, health nine slash nine, right weapon, nothing Okay, boomerang is broke. Your hand, up search, bottom bar, and your hand, boomerang. Select a target. Let's equip, equip our equip right one. again. Up search. Mana cost two. Action. Deal. Player info. Your hand. Up search. Mana cost two. Player info. Right weapon. Boomerang. Weapon. Select a target. Target zombie. Health eight slash. Target fish. Health seven slash nine. Right weapon. Boomerang. All right, our weapon. boomerang Attack. is building Three. up. Your hand. Up search. Mon to parry. Mana cost one. Not enough mana. Jab. Mana cost. Jab. Mana cost. Parry. Mana cost one. Bow staff. Mana cost two. Bottom bar. End turn. Draw a card. Disable. End turn. We have nothing else in Enemy our turn. turn. Zombie deals two damage to you. Fish deals three damage to you. Zombie appears. Your turn. Oh, we got two zombies. Lovely. Bottom bar. Enter. Your hand. Shard. Mana cost zero. We got a shard. Action. Deals. Play Select a target. That. Target zombie. Health nine slash nine. Target zombie. Health eight slash eight. Target fish. Health four slash nine. Let's kill that fish. Oh, search. Fish defeated. Perfect. Plus two Bottom bar. Food bag. Add to your hand. <clears throat> All right, we got a food bag. Hopefully, it is something good. Sweet corn. Mana cost oh, zero. Sweet corn's food. not Reduce bad. the cost of two cards in your hand by one. Can only eggplant. Mana cost zero. Eggplant's okay. Health and lose one mana for the rest of this battle. Losing can only mana be used once. isn't great though. Mushroom. Mana cost zero. Food. Restore ten health and become poison. Being be poison is terrible. Button. You don't want to take to mushroom select. ever unless you just have an, you have frog legs equipped as a trinket. Eggplant. Mana cost zero. Sweet corn. Let's mana take cost sweet zero. corn. Food. Options. One of my favorites. Zombie. Zombie. Attack. Player info. Your hand. Bottom bar. Enter. Your hand. Sweet corn. Mana Play cost sweet corn. Mana cost two. Action. Right, Deal cool, two cool, damage cool. to every bottom bar. 
your hand, bow staff, mana cost one. Weapon, All right, attack, what should we one, pull? Durability, three, white, bottom bar, your hand, bow staff, mana cost one. Weapon, oh, wait, attack, we reduce one, both staffs three, cost equipped. by Gain one. Gain plus one attack for so each card played this turn. Technically, we could button. play both staff. Double tap to select. Parry, mana cost one. Action, one. block two damage. Jab, mana cost one. Action, jab, mana cost one. Button, parry, mana cost zero. Action, oh, we got one parry damage. drop to zero. Up search, mana cost two. Action, a parry, mana Let's cost play zero. Parry. Select a target. Target zombie, attack three. Target zombie, attack three. Let's block Target this zombie. zombie. Up search, mana cost two. Yeah, we just don't want to take all that damage. Play this player info. I think our health's weapon. running low. Light weapon, health five slash mana four slash health five slash twenty. Yeah, we're about to die, and there's not much we can do because attacking the zombie doesn't really help us. Your hand, up search, bottom bar, enter. Your hand, bow staff, mana cost one. Uh, weapon, uh, attack, parry, mana cost one. Jab, mana cost a parry, bow staff, mana cost one. Select a target, equip left, equip right. Cancel. Let me. Uh, we have a boomerang. On. Player info. Left weapon. Bow staff. We right weapon. Boomerang. Weapon. Attack. Three. Now we got one. the boomerang. When this Return it to your hand with plus one attack. Early on, on floor one. one would have been plus set. One. Select a target. Target zombie. Health nine slash nine. Target zombie. Health eight slash eight. Equip left. Target zombie. Health eight slash eight. Let's kill. Hit the zombie. Button. Right weapon. Let we have no clip. choice at this point. Button. Your hand. Upsir. Bottom bar. Enter. Your hand. Boomerang. Mana cost. Rotten meat. Mana See, cost zero. Meat. Food. Take three damage and draw a card. Can only be used you once. You draw a card, but you take three Button. damage, and we don't Double have that to option. Double tap Bottom bar. At your hand. Boomerang. Mana cost three. Weapon. Attack. Four. Durability. Let's put a select a target. Boomerang back Equip on. Left. Equip right. On search. Mana cost two. Player info. Left weapon. Post. Right weapon. Boomerang. Weapon. Attack. Four. Durability. Two. At select a target. Target zombie. Health nine slash nine. Target zombie. Health five slash eight. Right weapon. All Boomerang. right. Weapon. That zombie's attack. almost Four. dead. Durability. Your hand. Up search. Player info. Left weapon. Bow staff. Weapon. Attack. Eight. Durability. One. Whilst equip. Oh, Game that one bow staff's card almost turn. strong enough to kill button. the other zombie. Double tap to select. Your hand. Up search. Mana cost. Jab. Mana cost. Select a target. Let's... Target zombie. Health nine slash nine. Target zombie. Health one slash eight. Let's kill that zombie. <laughs> zombie defeated. Plus All right, two good. Cards. Now our bow staff should two. be able to Action. kill the other Deal zombie. Deal two damage. Bottom bar. Enter. Your hand. Rotten meat. Mana cost zero. Food. Bottom bar. Enter. Food bag. Let's get our food bag. Add to your hand. Hopefully we'll get an apple. Carrot, mana cost zero. Action. Look at the top three cards in your deck That's and pick okay. one to draw. Onion, mana cost zero. Food. Shuffle your hand into your deck and draw four oh, cards. Oh, yes. Can only beautiful. Be used That's going to save Button. us because we can... Double tap to select. I do believe it will shuffle the rotten flesh, but maybe not. Apricot, mana cost zero. Food. Oh, we do Become have an apricot. One That's can also only be used very once. powerful, too. Button. Onion. Let's try onion zero. first. Options. Okay. Options. Um, Zombie. Player info. Left weapon. Bow staff. Weapon. Attack. Nine. Durability. One. Let's Whilst equip. Kill Game that, plus one attack for uh, each card played. Select a target. Target zombie. Health nine slash nine. Kill that zombie. Left weapon. Zombie defeated. Plus okay. two. Your hand. Bottom bar. Food bag. Let's get that other food. Uh, let's play that. Bottom bar. Draw a card. Your hand. Up search. Mana cost. Jab. Mo parry. Mana cost. Bow staff. Rotten meat. Mana cost zero. Food. Uh, bow staff. Mana cost one. Weapon. Let's play. Attack. One. Durability. I Three. think we should Whilst put equip. that bow Game plus staff one attack for each card played this turn. Not enough mana. Rotten meat. Let's play mana the... Cost zero. Rotten meat. Onion. Mana let's cost play zero. onion. Left weapon. Nothing e Left weapon. Nothing equip. Button. Okay, I think let's see if the rotten meat was taken away. Options bar. Player info. Left your hand. Mine. Mana cost. Parry. Mana cost. Fish. Mana cost. Parry. Mana cost. One. Oh, we did. Action. It, does get, it does get rid of the rotten meat. Bottom bar. Enter your hand. Parry. Mana okay, bottom awesome. Bar. Enter. All right, cool. Button. All right, so... Double tap to select. Extra bonus pro tip. Number 11. Um... That card will remove rotten meat, which is great. That's excellent. I actually thought it didn't do that. Again, I'm all, I, you never know. You always learn something. You learn something new every day, right? All right. Food bag. All right, we got a food Button. bag. Let's open that Double up. Add to your hand. Garlic. Mana cost zero. Food. Clear all of your status effects. Can only be used once. Garlic is a great Button. card to keep Double in your to hand. Okay. Pumpkin, mana cost zero. Food, restore 10 health and discard three cards from your hand. We might have to grab ones. that. Pepper, mana cost one. Food, Pepper's all your equipment good plus two durability. Pumpkin, Let's mana cost zero. Pumpkin. Food, options. Pumpkin is good Button. because it's a... Double tap to select. It just discards your hand, and it's awesome for discard decks, but it doesn't penalize you for its heal for the most part. The only penalty, like I said, it discards a few cards from your hand. Option, option, options. Player info, left weapon, your hand. My player info, left weapon, nothing equipped. Right weapon, boomerang, weapon, attack, four, durability, one, when the, your hand, mine, mana cost okay, one, mine. action, look at the, not enough mana, parry, mana cost, fish, mana cost zero, action, does um, nothing, except parry, mana cost one, action, block two damage, alright, I think we're good, I think we got one or two more enemies to kill, bottom bar, options bar, options, player info, your hand, bottom bar, end turn, draw a card, disable, end turn, enemy turn, left weapon, fish appears, shocker appears, your turn, oh god, a fish and a shocker, ooh, man, we still got more enemies to kill. Your hand, mine, bottom bar, enter, your hand, jab, mana Let's cost go one, with... pumpkin, mana cost zero, parry, mana cost one, 
fish. Mana cost zero. Parry. Mana cost one. Action. Let's play parry. Select a target. Target shocker. Attack two. Wait. Wait, wait, wait. Target fish. Attack cancel. Let's mine. First Monocost player one. boomerang. Action. Player info. Left, right weapon. Boomerang. Weapon. Attack. Four. Durability. One. Select a target. Target shocker. Health 10 slash 10. Let's hit Button. the shocker. Double tap. Right weapon. Nothing equipped. Your hand. Mine. Mana cost one. Parry. Mo player info. Right weapon. Health. Mana four slash four. Health five slash twenty. We got five health left. Your hand. Mine. Bottom bar. And your hand. Boomerang. Let's re equip our boomerang. Select a target. Equip left. Equip right. Mine. Mana cost one. Action. Player info. Left weapon. Right weapon. Boomerang. Weapon. Attack. Five. Dur select a target. Target shocker. Health six slash ten. Let's kill that shocker. If right we weapon. Can. We're trying to kill weapon. that Attack. shocker. Five. Left weapon. Nothing equip. Fish. Attack two. Shocker. Attack two. Fish. Player info. Left weapon. Nothing equip. Your hand. Mine. Mana cost Gotta one. Mine. Action. Look at Perry. Mana cost one. Fish. Mana cost zero. Perry. Mana cost one. Action. Lock two down. Uh, let's go with mine. Mana cost one. Draw a card. What are we gonna? Let's see if we can shuffle our deck a bit here. Jab. Mana cost one. Jab. Action. Perry. Mana cost Perry. one. Sharpen. Mana cost we'll two. Let's take sharpen. Action. Fish. Mana cost sharpen zero. Sharpen works well Does with nothing. boomerang. Except that is bottom bar. Enter. Your hand. Sharpen. Mana cost two. All right. Action. We don't have enough. Three attack. Jab. Mana cost one. Well, we got enough mana. We don't have enough to use anything left. So we're gonna take damage. Player info. Fish. Shocker. Options bar. Shocker. Attack two. Fish. Attack two. We're gonna take four damage, and I think we're barely gonna live. This attack will add health nine slash nine. Player info. Right weapon. Health five slash twenty. Yeah, we're barely gonna live. Mana zero slash four. Your hand. Parry. Mana. Bottom bar. And turn. Here we go. Button. Enemy turn. Shocker deals two damage to you. Fish deals two damage to you. Goblin appears. We have Your one turn. health left. Yeah, again, I told you, platinum is very difficult. Um, we have a pumpkin, though. Bottom bar, and turn. Your hand, jab, mana cost one, jab. sharpen, mana cost two. Let's go action. with, if jab, mana cost oh, one. Oh, I don't want to shock damage. myself because we'll take damage. Button. Sharpen, mana cost two, action. Let's go with, weapon. jab, mana cost one, pumpkin, mana, jab, sharpen, mana Let's cost two. Let's go sharpen. Select a target, apply to right weapon, cancel. Apply to right weapon. Let's apply sharpen to our boomerang. Action, block two, damn it, bottom bar, and your hand. Jab, mana cost, jab, mana cost, pumpkin, mana cost zero. The parry, mana cost Let's one, go with pumpkin, parry, mana cost one, action, blocked, pumpkin, Let's go mana pumpkin. cost, parry, mana cost one, action, blocked, damage. We need to heal. Options bar, options, and options. And let's use a boomerang. Coin 16, coin 16, shocker, fish, attack three, goblin, attack, player info, left weapon, nothing equipped. Okay, Button. this is where Don't I love the select. goblin. Now, if the goblin destroys our boomerang, it only helps us. So don't target the goblin, believe it or not. <laughs> Let it destroy your boomerang all at once. Reduce its attack if you want, but pro tip 13, you're getting lots of bonus pro tips today. Bonus tip, let the goblin break your boomerang. It just makes your boomerang stronger. Goblin, player info, left weapon, nothing equipped. Right weapon, boomerang, weapon, attack, A, durability, one. When this, select a target, target shocker, health one slash 10. Uh, target fish, health nine slash nine. Let's hit that fish. Button. Right weapon, nothing equipped. We'll get our boomerang Button. back. Your hand. Parry. Mana cost one. Action. Jab. Mana cost at bottom bar. Enter. Your hand. Boomerang. Mana cost three. Weapon. Not enough mana. We don't bar. have enough. Your hand. Boomer. Jab. Mana cost one. Select a target. Alright, let's kill target that shocker. shocker. Health one slash ten. Parry. Mana cost one. Action. Oh, Block he two blocked damage. it with his stupid Button. paralysis, you Double loser! Tap to select. Oh my god. He blocked it because we've been per we've been hit with paralysis, so... Um, bottom bar, options bar, coin that 16, sucks. shocker, attack, fish, goblin, player info, your hand, parry, bottom bar, and turn, draw a card. I think we're Button. dead. And turn, your hand, boomerang, mana cost three, parry, mana cost one, player info, mana Let's go. hand, parry, How mana much cost mana player info, have left. Left, right weapon, health 11 slash 20, mana 2 slash 4. We got two mana left, we could draw a card and hope for a jab, or we could parry. Your hand, parry, mana cost, select Let's a target, parry. target shocker, attack three. Let's block some of that damage. Mana cost three, we draw a card. Let's draw Button. one card. And turn. Your hand. Cash. Mana cost one. Oh, we got Action. cash. That's cool. Deck. Well, we have cash for Button. next turn for a little... Double tap to pew, select. Pew, 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 pew. All right. Uh, don't... I think we can survive one more round. Player info. Left weapon. Nothing equipped. Goblin. Attack three. This attack will remove one. Health ten slash ten. Fish. Shocker. Options bar. Shocker. Attack one. One attack from the shocker. Fish. Attack three. Three attack from the fish. That's four damage. Goblin. Attack three. And three. Ooh. Seven damage. This attack will remove one durability from any weapon. Health 10 slash 10. We can make it. We'll have three health left. Very bad. Very bad, but we're doing the best we can. We're playing the percentages. Player info. Right weapon. Nothing. Your hand. Boomerang. Bottom bar. End turn. Draw a card. Disable. End turn. End your turn. Enemy turn. Shocker deals one damage to you. Fish deals three damage to you. Goblin deals three damage to you. Your turn. All right. Well, the goblin didn't break our weapon. That's really surprising. Options bar. O options. Shocker. 
Fish. Attack two. Goblin. Attack player info. Left weapon. Nothing equipped. Right weapon. Nothing equipped. Oh, he did break it. Your hand. Boomer. Bottom bar. And your hand. Mine. Mana cost. Bottom bar. And turn. Your hand. Mine. Mana cost one. Cash. Mana cost boomerang. Mana cost three. Weapon. Attack. Nine. Durability. Select a target. Uh, that's equip, uh, equip right. I tend Cash. to equip. Mana cost one. Action. Add a shard okay. to your deck. I tend to equip Button. weapons that Double I use select. often on a particular side. I usually equip my boomerangs on the right. My hollow blades I equip on the left. My nimbles I equip on the left. So um, it's a good strategy so that you know you're not overlapping your weapons because if you overlap them, you lose them. Bottom bar, end turn. Let's go. Hand. Cash, mana cost one, action. Player info, right weapon, boomerang, weapon, attack, nine, durability, two. Select a target, target shocker, health one slash 10. Target fish, health one slash nine. Uh, target goblin, health 10 slash 10. I don't want to kill the goblin. Button. Double tap to select target fit. Target shocker. Health one slash ten. Kill the shocker. Right weapon, shocker defeated. Plus two coins. Right weapon. Boomerang. Your hand. Cash. Mana cost. Bottom bar. Enter. Food bag. Let's get our food bag. Back Ooh. Maybe we'll get an uh, apple. Mushroom. Mana cost zero. Food. Oh, Restore we have ten no health choice. and become poison. Can we only may be have to once. take that. Uh, we may have Button. to take that. Double mushroom. tap to select. Eggplant. Mana cost zero. Food. Restore twelve Ooh. health and lose one mana for the rest of this battle. Can only be used once. This one's even worse, Button. but we don't get poison. Tap to select. So lettuce. Mana cost let's one. Take Eggplant. The mana cost zero. Options. Fish, goblin, player info, your hand, bottom bar, and your hand, eggplant, cash, mana cost one, oh, action, he blocked and a shard it. to your deck. Oh, you uh. Bottom bar, enter, your hand, mine, mana it cost happens. one, action, cash, mana cost one, action, uh, add a shard to your deck. Again, paralysis Button. is one of the worst. Double tap to select. Status effects to get. It's super suck. Player info, goblin, fish, options bar, fish, attack two. Uh, two attack from the fish. Goblin, attack two. Two attack from the goblin. This attack will remove health 10 slash 10. We have 10 health. We can take a little bit more damage. Player info. Left weapon. Nothing e goblin. Attack two. This is health. Player info. Left weapon. Nothing. Right weapon. Boomer. Health four slash 20. We got four health out of 20. So we have to run or we lose. I don't think we make it. Your hand. Cash. Mana cost uh, one. Act mine. Mana cost one. Action. Bottom bar. And turn. Your hand. Cash. Mana cost one. Action. Add a shard to your deck. Do we have any more? Uh, let's go for it. Mana cost one. Maybe Action. we'll look at the top three cards in your deck and chose one to draw. Maybe we can make it. I don't think we make Button. it. Your hand. Mine. Mana cost one. Player info. Left weapon. Nothing equipped. Goblin. Attack two. This attack will remove health ten slash ten. This attack fish. Health one slash nine. This attack will add a fish. Attack two. Uh. Yep. Two attack from both of them, so... Goblin, attack to player info, left weapon, right weapon, health 4 slash 20. Mana 0 slash 4. We got 0 mana, 4 health, 4 damage from the enemies, we lose. Your hand, mine, mana cost 1, bottom bar, and turn, draw a card, disable. Yep. Options bar, fish, goblin, player info, your hand, bottom bar, Nice enter. try. Um, button. we tried, we didn't Double tap to get select. any parries at the last minute, so unfortunately... Uh, it is our fault, though. We're the one who built the deck, so we went for damage over defense. So uh, that's just how it goes. But we are going to lose right here. Draw a card. Disable. End turn. It's end turn. turn. Fish deals two damage to you. Goblin deals two damage to you. End but game. we did try really Button. hard. Double Again, this is not your optimal deck build. Um, the bull staff build is really not very good. Of course, in the title, I will call this... Uh, Ludolf Bowstaff deck. It's it's a terrible deck. It's not very good. I don't advise you to try it, but if you want to try it, you can make it work. Let me know in the comments. I'd love to hear from you. Uh, thank you very much for coming here to Conjury. And I know a lot of my game playlists have been wrecked because my phone was lost and we have to restart over again a lot of our accounts. So I do apologize. Hopefully this won't happen again. I'll be a lot more careful. But thank you very much for coming here today. It's a beautiful spring day here in Midtown Sacramento. Thank you to My Noise. Thank you to Conjury and their developers for making such an amazing, wonderful thing. And thank you to you. Love you. Appreciate you. Thank you for coming here and subscribing, bringing our subscriber count up toward 150. And hopefully in the future, I'll have more exciting games for you guys to listen to. I do have a game called X. Uh, it's Jordan's fault. He told me about it. I'm trying to learn how to play it. I don't quite understand it yet, but I'll let you all know if I'm able to make it work. So look forward to that. It's a roguelike, so it should be pretty fun. Again, I don't know how to play it yet. Uh, it's coming up as a surprise game, so I'll let you know. And I've also made a new thing called a grab bag, which is basically all the games I've ever played. I've made these giant folders on my phone, which means I will randomly select a game from that to play on a particular day. So I call it the grab bag. So we grab whatever we want and we play whatever game. I don't care what it is. 
if I grab it, we have to play it. So <laughs> that'll be pretty fun for all of you. But until next time, folks, thank you very much for coming to Game Double Tap, the channel that describes absolutely everything. My name is Michael Gray, and you have been here with me enjoying Conjury. And we shall return again next time. We'll continue to play Ludolf, and I will hear you all next time. Take care.